Hello and welcome back to my Central Powers Central Powers playthrough with Commander of the Great War with the Pod Blitz mod. So where we left off last, we attacked with our main units. And I think we're about ready to Close out the turn and let's see. Yeah. Close out the turn. out the turn here. Okay. Looking for this British submarine. Usually it's around here. Okay. Okay. Sub there. Sub there. Well, Let's do this. Let's check the diplomacy, 10 turns, management. It costs 10. Well, let's close out the turn here. Well, let's see. a second. Hey, don't know who that is. Well, I think I'm at attack here. Okay, we did, and we killed one of theirs. Or no, we didn't. See if we get Yeah, I hate that. Okay. Alright, we don't need to. But well, let's close out the end turn here. And let's see what the Entente does.
filling their gaps. I think it's time for about a naval attack. No, we can't attack them in the port. Yep, yeah, about time to take it. Naval attack here. Foreign Ministry has now set a budget for naval research. Naval category is now available in the research panel. German East Asia Squadron continues to wreak havoc among British shipping routes. Okay, uh, warfare increased to 100%. Okay, so let's save this. Let's go three. Okay, let's continue this. Let's do. It's going to be a bad attack if I do that.
show him the horses, damn it. why this area here is uh, Netherlands. That shouldn't be Netherlands. That should be French or um, uh, Belgium territory. So I really uh, I forgot to use my planes. I'm still debating whether I should launch a preemptive attack against Russia. They're going to attack in the next. Let's do this, Russia. that 
action for Germany. Let's deploy these units. Germany, let's produce all that research. turn here. I know our navy's gonna get shot up pretty good. I think we'll do a preemptive strike against Russia on the next turn. I think it's about time, unless they go to war with us now.
cut off that unit right there, number. I think that's what I'm going to shoot. retreat them back Signal intelligence technologies and encryption procedures have led to successful interception of Entente wireless transmission. Okay, good. Okay, let's save this. We're doing pretty good. Okay, let's continue this. That sucks. do it. 
this. God. the Russians are going to attack next. I have a feeling. Uh, uh, I wonder if we move this guy up. Nope, we'll leave him there. for Austria, Hungary. Let's do a submarine and a reserve corps. And for Germany. Yeah, let's buy another edition. 
additional go. fortresses around Antwerp fell and the last defenders are evacuating the burning city. With this major port in their control, German warships and submarines now have a base much closer to the English Channel. Okay. Race to the sea. As generals of both sides try to outflank the enemy, suddenly the strategic importance of previously neglected Belgian coast gets into everybody's focus. A wild and confused dash to hold and secure the shores of the North Sea ensues. Okay. Hmm.
that so I can cut that unit off in the murder.
yeah, I guess we're just gonna go with that. I guess. We'll let them come. One extra collection. Whatever. Yeah. It's in the turn. Oh, no, no, we gotta do production. Done. Austria, 18. Germany, 112. try to get Calais or Amiens like they did in real life for a little bit until they got pushed back over the mark. Yep, just keep plugging holes. I think that's going to be about the last of what we can move. Steamroller. I'd like to funnel them right into it. I knew I should have done a preemptive strike two turns ago.
I knew the Austrians were fucking weak in real life. Jesus. Oh my god, three units gone just like that. Stopping the episode here until the next one. Ah! After finishing army mobilization, Russian forces stand ready at the borders of Germany and Austria. Hungary, Central Powers scramble to react to the coming of the dreaded Russian stream steamroll. Following the Niagara Falls Peace Conference, the last U.S. troops have left the Mexican seaport of Veracruz. Originally, the port has been seized by U.S. Marines to confiscate an arms and ammunition delivery for the Mexican di dictator uh, Victorino Huerta, who had taken control of Mexico the previous year after a bloody coup d'etat. This would move Russian troops into the Persian Cossack Brigade to seize the city of uh, Tab Tabriz thereby taking control of the northern Persia, Turkey reacts by deploying its first and fifth expeditionary forces along the Persian border. As, a van as vanguard units of Russian Cossack cavalry across the Russo-German border, panic fueled by rumors of atrocities starting, starts breaking out amongst the population. Maximilian von Pritzwitz, chief of German Eastern Front, has been relieved of command after having been found not to be in control of the situation anymore. He will be promptly replaced by Paul von Hindenburg and his chief of staff, Eric Dutzdorf. Well, let's save it here. Called from retirement to assist with the war of two, on two fronts. Paul von Hindenburg is a long, is a long time veteran of the Prussian army. He is an offensive minded general, renowned for his directed strategy. I think we're gonna end the episode here. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game episode as much as I did. I will see you soon. Have a good weekend. And um, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys soon.